it's Cheyenne again. Sorry it's been a little bit since I've done a video, but I got sick and we've been doing MRIs and blood tests and doctors and getting me sent to a neurologist trying to figure it all out. I'll make a video all about that once I actually have some answers, because right now it's all questions. Um, but today I wanted to do a really short video. I wanted to do a what's in my bag video. Um, I'm going to have two of them. I'm going to have a short one, which is this, and then a long one, which you can watch if you want a more detailed explanation of why I have some of the medical things in my bag. So let's hop into the short version. Here is my bag, or my purse. It is a backpack. I got it from Walmart for $11, and it has two straps. That way it'll hook onto my wheelchair better. Um, because one strap just was not working. Um, I carry a backpack so it'll um, not dislocate my shoulders as bad. And then I have an EDS ribbon pinned on there. And then I have cute little baby zigzag. He's adorable. I have him for just times that I feel scared or anxious and I can hold on to him and he makes me feel better. And he's just freaking adorable. Um, on the side pocket, I have my phone, which just has a pinky background. I have some extra spearmint gum. It's my favorite and one of the only ones I'm not allergic to. I have a 4 gigabyte flash drive. And then on the other side, I have my SunTrans sunglasses. They're in the darkest lens you can get, and they are my prescription sunglasses. I love them. They have tiger on the sides. Um, tiger, zebra, not really sure. It looks kind of like tiger. Um, that's what they look like. <laughs> they live in the side pocket. And then in the front, I have my polka dot wallet from um, 31 bags and that's my beautiful picture that will be getting changed in a few months and then on the inside of this wallet I have like my money cards and then I have this card which I will explain in more depth in the next video because it takes a little bit um, it's an emergency care card, and I have every single medical professional read this before they can touch me because it explains all about Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. Um, and it's great to just have in your wallet, and I actually have another copy somewhere else in my bag, you'll see. We'll put that back in there. And then right here in this little itty bitty about the size of your hand pocket, I keep a pin. And then typically my camera is in there, but I'm obviously using it to film right now. And then in my middle pocket, I have some sea salt grinder. I have it in my bag because I'm allergic to iodine, and iodine is in most table salts, so I carry it around. It's also good for pots, people. Um, I have my keys, which are on my awesome zebra lanyard my grandma got me, and then I just have the typical, you know, your um, shopping cards, my pass to get into the rec center where I go swimming, and then keys. I have a leopard key and a tie-dye key that is, like, all rubbed off. And then I have my wheelchair pushing gloves. Um, they're just from the little kids at Kmart, and they have the grippers, so they work really well to hold on to my wheelchair. And then I have my zebra wallet. And inside it, I keep a picture of my cousin. And then I have um, like my insurance cards and my pharmacy cards and my eyeglass um, receipt, stuff like that. If I tried to keep all of it in one wallet, it wouldn't close. It, ju it was not working. And then I have Swamp Man. 
which if you want to know why I have Swamp Man in my bag, watch the next video, which will be the more in-depth video of why everything is in here. And then in this little bag, I have some lip products. I have like some colored lip balm. I have some lip balm, a chapstick, um, some lip glosses. And then you also, if you're a girl, you always want to have one of these in your purse because you never know when you are going to need it. And I got this little cute baggie from Ipsy. It's a subscription box and once I get my bag for this month, I'm going to do a video on that too. So be on the lookout for that. And let's shove that all back in here. And then in the last pocket, the big giant pocket, I have a medical folder. Now this is really important for anyone who has um, any type of severe medical condition or even if you're someone just with like a severe food allergy something that can have documented the things that you need if you would like to know what all I keep in my medical folder please watch the next video and then I have in this baggie I have my albuterol and my um, arrow chamber for it glasses cleaner and it's just, I like to keep it in the baggie because it keeps it kind of sanitary. And then in this Clinique makeup bag, I keep all of my emergency medications that I take. And if you would like to know more about what type of medicines are in here that I carry around on a daily basis, why I have them, if I like them or not, um, watch the next video as well. So that is everything that is in my bag. Like I said, if you would want a more in-depth explanation of things, I'm going to have another video posted that just explains everything more, why it's in there, how I use it, and I'm going to be making an Ipsy video. And if you have any questions, comments, ideas for videos, I would love to hear them down below. I'd also love to hear what you keep in your bag. Um, whether you are chronically ill or not, what are some of the items that you must have with you all the time? So, thanks for watching, guys. You can follow my journey at Love Zebras and Ellers Danlos Syndrome on Facebook, and I will talk to you later. Bye! Mwah. <laughs>